Uh, I want to encourage people, if you're feeling up to it, to experiment when we get to Va'anachnu Kor'im, Kor'im, which means to kneel down on one's knees, to go down on our knees, Umishtachavim, to lie flat down, face down on the floor, Umodim, and to give thanks to the one who is the source of all blessing, um, and then to rise again as the prayer continues. We have invited three members of our community to uh, offer reflections on each of these sections. And so uh, before we begin Malchuyot, we look to Susan Zeelander for her reflections on this beginning part of the Amidah. In the title of this, as Rabbi uh, has suggested, is I felt wonder when. In 2014, after 51 years of marriage, my husband died while we were snorkeling in the Caribbean. He was brought to the hospital that was on the closest big island. There, without thinking, I asked for a phone book. I found myself looking for a rabbi or a synagogue on the island. No luck. And I should mention here that neither my husband nor me, nor our three children, were raised in an observant home. Meanwhile, my initial insp instinct was to not leave my husband's side, and I didn't. That night, I asked if I could stay nearby. It's a Jewish tradition, I explained. Somehow, the people there accepted that and set up a recliner chair, pillow and a blanket in the hallway, as close to his side as I could be. I don't know why, but for this trip, I had packed the Book of Psalms and I started to read. A nurse came over asked why I was there in the hallway. When I explained, she said, oh, I know these Psalms in English, may I join you? The next day, my children were there. I prevailed upon them to read Psalms in the same hallway. And two days later, a Chabad rabbi from a distant island came to support us. When I experienced the caring of the people on that island, the wisdom of the Chabad rabbi, and the humanity of our traditions, I felt wonder. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu, melech ha'olam she'asani Yisrael. Amen. 